Commander Walter M. Sherrod, Jr. dons his spacesuit at 3.25 a.m. on an historic day, the most memorable, no doubt, of his 39 years. He will be boosted into space atop a flaming 362,000-pound thrust Atlas missile. As he leaves Hangar S at Cape Canaveral, he comments, It's such a pretty morning, I think I'll go for a flight. Interesting to note is that Commander Shira is the son of a World War I flying ace who flew his Don patrols 44 years ago in flimsy aircraft. The transfer van brings Shira to the launching pad, barely 30 feet from the elevator, which will take him up to the capsule on the 11th floor of the 160-foot gantry. Exercising his pilot privilege, Shira named his spacecraft Sigma-7, saying that in mathematics, Sigma means summation and Project Mercury is the summation of the tremendous scientific and engineering effort, Chira waits for the countdown to tick away to zero for his launch into the longest space flight yet attempted by an American astronaut. The nine-hour, six-orbit flight is designed to test engineering systems preparatory to a 24-hour flight early as it penetrates the cold air of the upper atmosphere. Two and a half minutes after launching, a bright puff in the sky shows separation of the two booster engines. The six scheduled orbits of the globe are accomplished with precision. Chira himself, despite some trouble with spacesuit temperature, describes his feat as a routine textbook flight. This is the carrier Kearsarge, which after the capsule makes this type of bullseye landing in the Pacific Ocean, hoists it aboard. Commander Chira is declared healthy as a bear, and he declares, I'm happy as a lark.